Okay, then. Then that... Welcome to Gabe and Dennis, uh, brought to you by Current Digital Magazine and, and Pornhub. Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sponsoring us now. Right, they do sponsor After us. After the first two episodes, they thought we were really good, and so they reached out and they're giving us money. Yeah, they thought that no one has gotten fucked harder than us ever on their <laughs> website. After um, watching us play... Uh, Battle Toads. <laughs> yeah. So, follow us on Pornhub, and also check out some big old cocks. The biggest cock. I think. Um. I think it's. I think it's. Do you think it's a little gay to watch guys fuck girls? Yeah, I think so. That's. I watch mostly lesbian porn. Oh, I watch mostly gay porn. <laughs> Is that gay? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, because I described, like, that straight porn's not gay. Yeah. Because it's like, um, it's like being proud of the guy. You're like, trying, well, you're trying to imagine yourself in his position, but I, right. I well, usually that's... can't stop looking at his dick, you know? Oh. That's all I look at. And then I just start jerking off to him. No, I can imagine him without his dick. <laughs> I imagine him with a with a vagina. I imagine him as a woman and her as a man. Oh, so that's an interesting question. Is trans <laughs> which transsexual porn is considered gay? Is any of it? I don't know. I'm just press A. Press A. Oh, we can. Yeah, I think so. Which, well, which is which is gayer to you? Watching a transsexual. Woman with a penis, or a transsexual man with a vagina? I would say a transsexual man. Whoa, ch check out how high I jump. Uh, Look at that shit. Fuck you, Mario. I'm the king now. What's this? Holy shit. Meow, meow, meow. This is fucking the most amazing thing I've ever seen. So do we get small too? Can we get Biggie Smalls? Thank you for answering my question. <laughs> you are the most useless person. Whoa! Hey, asshole! I took yours. Now you can have it. Thanks. Oh, why, I wonder why they went with cat. To appeal to the furry market. Right. There's a certain... There's Just a, like Zootopia. Yo, I heard Zootopia is doing really well though. I heard it's a really good movie. Yeah. I see it. But I also heard Disney is marketing it towards furries. Where'd you hear that from? Donald Trump? No. Um, Ooh, Donald Trump should be the first presidential candidate to market towards furries. If Donald Trump becomes president, just think about it. We have the first black president preceded by the the next racist president. <laughs> <laughs> the most racist president. The most. And that's pretty that's pretty much saying something huge because we've had presidents who own slaves. <laughs> yeah. You know what drives me insane? That people pretend like um like uh George Washington was this amazing guy. Who pretends like that? Be I never Aaron. hear anyone talk about George Washington. Well like like, just think about it. Like, we were always raised to, like, everyone thinks so highly. George Washington, our first president, there was a fucking state named after him. That's okay? true. Yeah. But when you really think about it... He was racist. Oh, yeah, there was no doubt. How did you get up there? Oh, hold on. Oh, what's this? Um, our, our nation's capital. Yeah. Right. But he was go he there's no doubt in my mind that he was a giant racist and a misogynist. Yeah. He's probably much worse than Trump. Yes! That's true! Shit, shit, shit. And Are you kidding me? I got it. 
Yo, motherfuckers. Just think. We're gonna have... That is the most true thing anyone has ever said. That... Uh, George Washington was probably... Had... Was worse than Trump. Yeah. His ideals were definitely worse than <laughs> Trump's. Yeah. And Trump might change Washington State to Trump State. That's that's what we've been and waiting Trump for. Trump DC. Trump <laughs> DC. It, it'll join the 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 illustrious lineage of the Taj Mahal. Well, I was in DC the other day, and there's a giant Trump flag. Oh, get it. Uh, not the Trump flag. Don't get the Trump flag. That's <laughs> no. not a Trump flag. However, all right, who's worse, Bowser or Trump? Good question. I'd say Trump. What has Bowser really done? Kidnap a kidnap a woman. <laughs> like, right? I, I mean, Trump has but done, in, Trump has definitely kidnapped a woman. <laughs> but and to be fair, he's in, probably kidnapped all of his wives in the spin-off games. Yeah, Bowser's pretty nice to Peach. He's not really that bad, and she keeps going with him. Well, I'm almost positive, without a shadow of a doubt, that Baby Bowser is hers. Alright, Gabe, I'm just... I mean, she looks like him. No. <laughs> That's not true! <laughs> That's like saying, I'm pretty sure that Ganondorf is the father of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. They look similar! What happened to them? They weren't in Fuller House. Oh, do you hear? Like, they, they threw some... They threw some massive... Check it out, dude. Um... They 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 said some horrible things about them in the show. Did they really? That's what I heard. I know that they did say like one thing. They're like, "Where's Michelle?" And she's a real bitch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's a cunt. <laughs> no, no. They said they said. Look at that, dude. What is that thing? It's a hat. It's because you won last time. Oh. You get the most points. Whoops. Um. How did you get a cat suit? Because I had the bell saved up. So, um. They, they say things like, Can I lose this hat? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want to get hit because I love this hat more than anything. Do not hit me with it. Um. They say things like, uh, they're like, where's Michelle? And, uh, they say things like, oh, she's in New York, running her fashion empire, and then everyone looks at the camera. <laughs> but I like your response so much more. <laughs> she's a bitch! <laughs> she's an ungrateful bitch! That would have been so much better. <laughs> it like, so out of place, like, they don't swear on the entire <laughs> show, it's just that line. My crown! You could steal my crown? Like that one episode just gets the TV 14 rating. <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking, of G. speaking of John Stamos, I yeah. know we didn't exactly say his name, but but we referred to him. Alright, Drake Bell. Uh, he, um, he famously filed for bankruptcy. Did he really? Yeah. Well, I guess not so famously. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, the, the last time I remember Drake Bell was when he was like a real asshole about Caitlyn Jenner. Oh yeah, he that? also he also uh, hates on Justin Bieber all the time on social media. Yeah, people like him. and then like Drake Bell said something about um, Bruce Jenner is a man or Caitlyn Jenner is a man or something like that. One and, of those uh, one of those things you said was true. The other one yeah, not so much. I think it's the second one. It's <laughs> the second one. I was confused. Um, What's this, dude? What the fuck is this? And then, what the fuck is this? People just got really pissed. You know, so. But because Josh Peck came out like five minutes later and said the opposite. Uh, uh those. They're at it again, those yeah. two. Um, Hug me, brother. So, but that—that's where this is going. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, okay. Um, so Drake Bell famously 
and I guess it's not so famous. I thought more people knew about it. He filed for bankruptcy. Uh, because he said, like, his house cost him, like, uh, uh, 20000 a month, but he only makes 10000 Like, uh, and so, um, he, he says he make money of? He's Spider-Man in a cartoon. Oh, okay. But he was just on an episode of Grandfathered, oh, which okay. is Josh Peck's new yeah, show with John Stamen. Yeah. This is where we're headed. Oh shit, get him, dude. No, you gotta get him. You gotta get him. Oh. Um, on the episode, and I only saw clips of it. Yeah. Alright, Josh Peck plays John Stamos' son on the show. Yeah. Um, John, uh, I guess. Is um, the show any good? No! <laughs> I don't know, I haven't seen it. I just, <laughs> I just said that. What the fuck happened? Um, but, but, uh, Drake Bell was on an episode. Yeah. And he played himself. Well, he didn't play himself. He played some, like, big shot douchebag thing. Okay, so the same character as in Drake and Josh. Well, no, he was rich in oh, the okay. show. And he was driving, like, a fancy car and all that kind of shit. Okay. And I thought, like, there's, you, there's nothing that could make you feel worse about being filing for bankruptcy, then going onto your friend's show that the only reason you got the show is because he's your friend. Yeah. Can I come back? And, uh, and then driving an expensive car. <laughs> no, that you can't afford that car! And that your friend is paying you a favor by letting you on his semi-successful show. I just think, like, any show whose biggest draws are John Stamos <laughs> and Josh, Josh Peck, Peck doesn't have that much going for it. <laughs> it's just like, it, it's a Fox show, and Fox also did one with Fred Savage. And, uh, Rob Lowe. Yeah! Which is actually good. That one's okay. Yeah. But, but when was the last time anyone talked about Fred Savage? The one you used. The uh, the, the Wonder Years happened pre or post uh, the Princess Bride. Not sure. These are the hard hidden questions. <laughs> but like, it's like Fox is like literally they're like looking through their Rolodex of people who were famous at least five years ago, upwards of twenty, <laughs> and they're like, let's let's. Do you think we can get Stamos still? You think we? <laughs> Yeah, he's not doing much, guys. <laughs> this is... And this is pre-Fuller House. House. Yeah. Which is, like, pretty awful. No, wait, Gage. What? Fuller House is getting a second season, though. Is it? Yep. Oh, my God. Nothing. Good. Did you watch Love on Netflix? I haven't watched it yet, but it sounds pretty good. It's pretty good. This is it's pretty good. But look at that. I outsmarted those fuckers. Wait for it. Don't go yet. Yeah, son. Okay, you motherfucker, I was about to get an extra life. I'm doing such monsters. It feels like it feels like grandfather. And that in that show, the the Rob Lowe yeah, show, grinder. it 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 seems like like if we were to sit down right now yeah. and smoke a joint and say, "Come up with the weirdest cast for a show," <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> it would be those two. Mm -hmm. I feel like those two ideas came like they came up with them at the same time. Right. Let's get someone who who you haven't seen in a while. And someone else you've seen, but you don't really let's care do about. two shows. Them. <laughs> they should just combine the shows. Yeah. I'm sure they'll have a crossover episode. I love crossover episodes, so... I, uh, do you watch Steven Universe, or no? No. I've heard good things. Yeah, but I don't like a cartoons. really bad crossover episode. With, with um, what? Uh, Uncle Grandpa. That, that show looks terrible. weird. That show looks weird. It's terrible. 
Alright, let's go to the house. No, go to the house. Go to the fucking house. Troops. I was hoping it was with my little pony. Choose the little one. Big is better. You motherfucker! Fuck you. Hold on. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> Jeez, that's how Mario normally treats <laughs> Luigi. He just shuts the door. Hold on, go up. He gets the mushroom and <laughs> shuts the door. He just like, did you see? <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> go, hold on, go over to the... Go over to the... No. The block over there. Fucking the block. I can't choose. Okay. Hey, that was pointless. <laughs> these, these, these fucking... <laughs> Come on, Luigi! <laughs> Do you want me to go to this? Yeah, I guess we have to, right? There's a football man. <laughs> Mario, wait! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a boss battle or something. Mmm, not much of a boss. Half boss. Oh midway. shit, I lost my crown. Do not steal my fucking crown. I'm not gonna get the star. I'm not gonna let you go. Shit. You see, it took the crown and said, Fuck you, Gabe. You don't deserve this goddamn crown. Unless, like, if Hillary Clinton were to go and try to steal Donald Trump's crown. <laughs> I bet he has a crown. I bet you more than anything he, he will has have, a crown. He will be the first, if he becomes president, first American president with a crown. Yeah. First American king. Right. And he will king himself. Yeah. He will be, I, I'm King Donald Trump. you who? King, King Donald Trump? You fucking what? Of the United Trumps of America? Can you click A? You bother- you just stare at it. Sorry viewers, who don't want to see. I'm still in my crown. But I won. Well, you stole my crown last time, that's why. Be oh, because I was tiny because you didn't give me the mushroom. Can I jump on you? Wherever you are. How are you running? Why, but? This, this. 3D is like really messing me up. Yeah, you might need to take off your green glasses. <laughs> You're fucking idiots. I hate you so much. Is this someone that has Captain Toad's treasure tracker? Yeah, Captain Toad. Captain Toad is my friend. What would your porn name be? <laughs> um. That's a good question. John Stamos. <laughs> <laughs> no, it should be John Stay Moist. <laughs> that's seen. That's genius. I almost said genius, which is genius, but also John Cena. <laughs> no, that's getting cut out. Thank you for giving me more work. <laughs> Um, do you know what mine would be? What? Bondage. James Bondage. <laughs> Pokemon s and <-M. laughs> It would be, uh, Ride on my dick. <laughs> Alright. The penguin. Serious question. What? Alright. How, let's say, right now. We live in the world we do at this very moment, but then, out of nowhere, Pokemon become real. Alright? And illegal. No. Stop <laughs> fucking with my questions! <laughs> Alright, we live in the world we live in right now, and Pokemon suddenly become real. And all know. the people are dead. No. No! <laughs> fucking listen to my question! <laughs> how, how shortly after Pokemon become real? Like, obviously, there's gonna be Would a great I orgasm? <laughs> no! <laughs> Fucker. I swear to God. <laughs> Very quickly. It, that's close to the question, to be fair. A oh, shit. Can you find it? Yeah, we have the cat suit. Oh. Alright. 
Obviously, when Pokemon become real, the first thing that happens is everyone's like, all right, Pokemon's real. I can make my own Pokemon thing. Right? But how long after <laughs> the initial reaction of people being excited do you think someone's going to try to fuck a Pokemon? Very quickly. <laughs> like, what's the length of time between saying, all right, Pokemon are real. Look at that guard of our. And then they try to fuck it. <laughs> what's the length of time? I wanna. Is it. Is okay, it, so I want a gritty. Um, is it Pokemon hours? Is where it, that happens. Is it hours? Is it months? Is it weeks? Is it minutes? I think it'll happen almost immediately. I don't know. I don't feel like. I feel like for the first level. Because it's not like when you go. Someone will do it. Not like when you go to the fair and you the first thing you do is you jack off. Someone would. No, no one does that. Yes, someone would. I wouldn't put it past someone. Do you have someone specific in mind? Someone homeless, probably. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I forgot the yeah. homeless people would have done. <laughs> So, all right. So, how long after after Pokemon become real does a non-homeless person try to fuck a Pokemon? Uh, hours. A furry. Oh, that's a good point. Is are you a furry if you do that? Most likely, you're something. Would it be considered the same thing as bestiality? Pretty much. Pokemon. Oh, animals. yes, I forgot. You know all the rules of Pokemon. <laughs> Pretty much. A Pretty Professor much. Oak. Pokemon. Um. Professor Wood Hard On. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Professor Wood Hard On. <laughs> the, the smartest Pokemon professor. <laughs> Would you guys like to see my pseudo Wudo? <laughs> yeah, that was her half job. Half job? Yeah. No, it has to be named after a tree. That's a tree. Which In do you Spain. pick? Is it? Yeah. You're making that shit up, and I almost believed it. Um. Which Pokemon professor smokes which, the most weed? Well, which naming convention do you prefer? The Pokemon professor being named after, uh... Uh... I don't care as long as their words echo. <laughs> 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 professor Oak's words echo through you. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck that tight little ass of yours. <laughs> I, I'm so turned on when they do that. When their words echo. I just really like whispering. Um, anyway, which naming conventions do you like better? The professors in Pokemon being named after trees? Or, all of the uh, Saiyans in Dragon Ball Z being named after plants? Or after vegetables? I like the plants. There was a, uh... Do you know what the new one in Dragon Ball Z Super is called? What? Cava. As in cabbage. Do you know what Vegeta's brother's name is? What? <laughs> it's Tabble. As of what? Vegetable. Oh god. <laughs> Isn't that is fucking that real? That's sweet. table. It's yes, it, but it's called Tabble. He's called ta or Tarble. It's I think, but I think it's Tabble. Um, I don't know if you ever read or knew about Doctor Slump. Dr. Also Slump? from the guy that made Dragon Ball Z. No. Um, okay. And there's like a chapter that's all about. Um, it's kind of like a Dragon Ball Z parody, and there's a character named Onio, like Onion, without the N at the end. Oh my God. There's a Saiyan. Oh, uh, how do I get up here? Oh, look at that shit. Yeah, oh. I used to read everything. Yeah. Akira a Toriyama? Yeah. When a I was a kid. Thank you for Chrono Trigger. Uh, fuck you for uh, Jungle Super.
Yeah. He did Sandland, which was really good. Well, from what I understand, the Japanese government had him make Dragon Ball Z. What? To Why? bring more money into their economy. I, That's weird. That, that may be a rumor, but I think it's true. I don't know, I still want to come here. I'll we don't need the hell out Donald of Trump does not want mo more money in our economy. That's the only reason we don't have it. <laughs> Go to, to Captain Ch Code. I wanted to try it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Captain Chode. Captain Chode. Just so everyone's aware, I'm Luigi, but Gabe gave me the controller for to play this. I've cycled through the course and just for five stars. Yeah, all five of them. I got it. I fucking got it. Do do people these days really need that much direction when they're playing? Yes. Does doesn't it feel like when we were younger the direction was fucking don't die? Yeah. <laughs> Usually I figured it out on my own. But we had he can't jump. Too. He can't jump. No, that's the challenge. Okay, so how the fuck do I get... Um, look at that. Oh, I figured it out without it saying... Turn the camera so that you can see where to go. And I'm assuming he can't attack. Toad is the no. fucking worst. I'm sorry. Only when he's a cat. No, just in general. Yeah. Any... He's the Krillin of Super Mario. No, nope, don't say it because I love Krillin. Okay, okay, platform. I fucking get it. Come on down. Oh. Oh, it wasn't going because I was talking too much. He was like. Motherfucker. Krillin? I will. I have said it before, and I'll say it again. If uh, if everyone, oh. if everyone had the same power levels in Dragon Ball Z, Krillin would be the most powerful. Oh shit! I'm tiny now. That is not true. That is absolutely true. He is the best fighter. Think about it, he stayed relevant longer than anyone else. Besides the Saiyans. But he died. Many times. Because he actually tried. I don't... Who would Nintendo thought it was a good idea to put microphones on everything? Yeah. I they thought it was a good idea after Mario Party... Seven? Seven it was. Where they included a mic. Eight. What? Yeah. No way! Yeah. I did not know that. You're yeah. like a wealth of knowledge. Of use useless, <laughs> not gonna get you laid knowledge. <laughs> I know. <coughs> oh baby, I'm so horny, what are you? I'm reading about the microphone that came with Mario Party 10. Seven. Seven? <laughs> Tell me more. Actually... You're getting me so John Stay Moist. Um... I, I used a video game fact to get laid once. Oh, was it... And it worked. Was it I get paid to play video games? No, not that one. Um... About... Um... Where the Xbox name came from. It was from DirectX. Who would sleep with me for that very reason? Did you sleep with- Wait. Did you have sex with Bill Gates? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell me? They didn't sleep- She didn't sleep with me for that reason. Just, I slept with her after saying that. She was impressed. Wow! <laughs> I'm impressed you know about something besides your own penis. That's also a good point. <laughs> I talk about my own penis a lot. <laughs> You would think, like, after 
I thought when I was in, in like elementary school or something or yeah. middle school, I was like, oh, I talk to talk about my dick a lot because I kind of figured out. I just now figured out what the term for it is. Yeah. Besides penis. Yeah. And I figured out, you know, like I kind of started to figure out what it's for. Because when I was young, yeah, I thought couples had sex by like the guy just sticking it. I thought the girl had like another type of penis that was an in. Like it just came out and you kind of like docked. Well, and it's not totally off. And, the, and then you just laid there all night. Oh. No. That's just, um, No, no. I don't think you're understanding. Okay? The vagina did not look like these cannons. Okay? It was not like that. The vagina was also a penis. But it had a hole, a bigger hole inside of it. To absorb the smaller penis inside of it. That's what I thought sex was. Uh, and then I later found out that obviously wasn't that. But, you know, anyway, what I was saying is, you know, when you're in middle school, you assume, like, you talk about your dick a lot because you just kind of figured out about it. But then after middle school, you realize that you talk about your dick a lot and it's not going to change. Yeah, I do that a lot. I talk about masturbation with people I've just met. You did that tonight. You met my girlfriend I and did. talked about masturbation to her. I do it all the time. I'm so comfortable talking about masturbation. <laughs> Maybe that's why your ex-girlfriend's parents don't like you. <laughs> that's, I never talked about it with them because I said two words to her dad. And it was awkward. <laughs> I masturbate. <laughs> It's like, hi, I'm... And then he said, I'll stop you right there. I don't want to know your name. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh my that god! That would be insane! Yeah. <laughs> I'll stop you right there. You know what that would say to me, though? What? That he thinks you're not going to be around long enough to remember your name. Yeah. But no, that didn't actually happen. I think it kind of did. That hit a little too close <laughs> to home. No, but I didn't talk to him for very long. He just said hi, and it was, he seemed quiet. Does the mom talk a lot? No, they're both quiet. That's weird. Yeah. That's weird. The mom's supposed to talk a lot. She's not close to her parents. That's so weird, man. Not yeah. not being close to your parents. I get that. Yeah, they're just they just live together. So they're <laughs> it's like it's. It's funny to call your parents your roommates when you're like ten. Yeah. Oh, you mean the you mean my roommates? <laughs> How do you run? With why? I feel like I asked that before. It just doesn't feel like I'm running. Right? Um, but. When you're 27, that's not, it's not cute to say, oh, I live with my, I, oh. She's not 27. I know, but I'm saying, like it, like, someone yeah. who said, like, you've never got Yeah. Do you live with your parents? Oh, what, you mean my roommates? <laughs> no, yeah. the people who gave birth to you? <laughs> you mean my roommates? People who you're not paying rent to live with. <laughs> that I think that I think that's it. That justifies a roommate. If you're paying rent. Right. But then do you call your parents your roommates if you're paying rent? I don't know. Well, first of all, it shouldn't it be called housemate. It's always weird yeah. because it's like roommate is like we share a room together. Or just a regular thing. Yeah, we're just friends. Oh, you mean my mate? <laughs> oh, mate as in... Well, or you mean the person I mate with? <laughs> you mean your parents? <laughs> oh, God.
know those coins. What's the time on it? 35 seconds. Have you beat this game before? Yeah. How long is it? It's not that long. like and share and subscribe make sure to pay attention to current digital magazine and Pornhub um. <laughs> Pornhub <laughs> there's definitely some amazing stuff coming your way uh, and you're gonna be coming our way right <laughs> are you gonna come my way that's the new uh, uh, oh my god what's his name it's it's getting less and less funny what's his name he play. He, he's black uh Kanye West. No, no, I want to say Lionel Richie, but that's not him. He's also Jewish. Lindy Kravitz. Okay. Are you going to cut my way? Sorry. Uh, anyway, guys, at the Gabe Carey, at Dennis McCarson. That's me. Until next time. At Pornhub. At Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. At Mountain Dew. At what? Mountain, Mountain Dew? Dew. Yeah, they're our best sponsor. Mountain, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dick. <laughs> There's a, I gotta tell you about Mountain, don't drink that shit. I gotta tell you about Mountain Dick. Uh next time. Okay. Alright, bye.